two. Well, this year we had one versus yeah. two last year, but it's like two extremes and then just quiet as a church mouse mm -hmm. uh, on either end of it. And uh, you know what? Even though we're going to have some active weather this week, we are looking at long range charts that bring us right back to super mild into the first week of uh, March. So no signs of winter at all. We have one day of cool this week. And yes, there will be a few snowflakes, but a few days after that, we're back to the 60s. Okay, so here we go. It's gonna be a mild stretch leading up to that too. Uh, 50 today, tonight 40, 65 tomorrow. There will be a scattering of showers tomorrow with the mid 60s, about 25 to 30 degrees above average. That system right now is approaching but it won't be here until tomorrow in kind of two pieces. The warm front comes in tomorrow, triggers a few scattered showers, but the cold front will bring the heavier rain, the gusty winds, the thunderstorms, and the sharp drop in temperature that we're gonna feel and experience on Wednesday. So for today, we're into the 30s, 40s, and eventually around 50 degrees, mostly sunny skies. Then for tonight, we're gonna see a mild night Lows in the 40s with the southerly breeze. And then notice in the afternoon, a few showers, not widespread, but a few, uh, maybe a rumble of thunder this day. Then on Wednesday, showers and storms in the morning and in the afternoon, temperatures climbing to the 60s. But look at what happens right after the front moves through. We're into the 30s and we hit um, the snow button. We hit some snow showers as we head into Thursday afternoon, Thursday night. So Thursday's high 20s, but then we're back to the 40s on Friday. A beautiful weather weekend, 60 on tap for Sunday. So yeah, it'll be a little turbulent this week, but as I mentioned, 60 on Sunday as a sign of what's to come next week. We're going to be even warmer than that. But one day of cool to contend with and even some snow showers, and that'll be on Thursday.